Welcome back. This is going to be my uh, technical analysis of the S&P 500 for the next week. And uh, what can I say? There is absolutely nothing that is stopping this um, market. Uh, even though the uh, real economy is doing horribly, the financial market is doing quite well. Um, at the moment, the S&P 500 has basically broken every resistant there is and uh, we are around the 30 uh, 44 uh, level at the moment and you can see it has broken the fibonacci uh, retracements and it's on those its way to the 100 percent uh, fibonacci retracement and uh, at this moment the, probably the next level will be around 30 uh, 100 level you can see there there's a quite big of a gap here and that is probably the only resistance there is the next resistance uh, is around 3250 level and we will most likely have a retracement back at this point but it has broken broken every uh, move, all the moving averages the 50 the 200 and so on and is hovering around the 30 uh, 30, um, 30 level. So, yeah, we're going to say there is quite a disconnect between the financial market and the real economy. And uh, probably the reason for that is that uh, uh, financial markets bounce back a lot sooner than the real economy. The financial markets are around nine months in front of the real economy. So, that's probably the, the reason for this disconnect. So there are some sectors that are doing horribly, and there are some sectors that are doing really well. Tech is doing really well. Well, travel industry, uh, like the air industry and the hotels and restaurants and so on, they are doing absolutely horribly. So uh, the unemployment claims uh, uh, have reached 40 million uh, this week. And uh, unemployment rate will most likely also be well above 20% um, uh, in the next coming months, uh, or it has already reached 20%. So if we go look at uh, the technical indicators, we can uh, see that the MACD is, uh, uh, there is no indication that we'll have a crossover uh, at the moment. Uh, the RSI is not yet oversold, even though we can see that it is pointing down. So this could indicate that we are going down, but I do not expect a massive uh, retracement um, at this point. Even though we would have an, uh, uh, a retracement, we will probably hit the, all of these uh, uh, support levels and we will just go bouncing back up. And the stochastic um, shows that we are most likely going to cross over here. Um, and but but there is not a lot of volatility. As you can look at the uh, uh, Bollinger Bands, there is not a lot what lot of volatility uh, compared to what we saw uh, in the beginning of the coronavirus. There is just a massive amount of volatility here and now things are just slowing down the same again so we can also see in the in the volume there is not a lot of volume the last trading day on friday there was a little bit of volume but compared to what happened over here volume has just steadily been on a decline so at this point we will most likely hit the uh, 31 uh, level and then we'll have uh, we'll go back down and then we'll most likely uh, try and um, test this area here when we have this uh, an enormous gap here and from there on we will most likely go up that is that is what the market is indicating and um, and we can just thank the uh, federal Reserve. Federal Reserve for this because they are just pumping money into the market. Uh, interest rates are almost at, at zero. So, yes, there is 
almost unlimited amount of uh, liquidity at the moment. And as long as that is going to be the case, we will see this market just steadily um, increasing. Um, but in the long run, this will most likely not be the case because there are going to be uh, bankruptcies. There is going to be a point where the Federal Reserve will stop uh, its uh, its monetary policy and um, the money will basically dry up for uh, some of these companies. And uh, we're going to basically just look at what Warren Buffett is doing. He hasn't bought a single share in this period here. And probably my reason is that he thinks that the market is still overvalued. We have almost reached the same level as prior to the coronavirus. And we are, and the economy is basically showing a depression level. Um, a record amount of people have been filed for uh, unemployment benefits. And uh, the unemployment rate will most likely be higher than in the uh, Great Depression. So I would be cautious of buying this because uh, all the other indicators show that, uh, that, that the economy is not doing very well. And if the economy is not doing well, then, then the financial system should not be doing well either. So... Warren Buffett sold all his stock in, in the airline industry. He has also been selling most of his uh, stocks in the banking industry. For example, he sold around 80% of his uh, Goldman Sachs uh, portfolio. And uh, yes, that is not a good sign. And uh, probably the reason for that is that even though the banks have a lot of liquidity, if they even though they are strong, if people start defaulting on their mortgages and uh, companies uh, start default uh, start start going bankrupt, then there is going to be a stress on the uh, on the banking system. And as soon as we see the a, a stress on the banking system, then we can basically see that we are going to test these lows again because that's always a very bad sign for the economy. But at the moment, we are most likely going to test 3100, then we'll, then, we'll, then we'll go down a little bit, and then we're going to test this area here. And after that, who knows? This is just going to be um, difficult to get through, and the top level prior to the coronavirus, that is just going to be a psychologically difficult barrier to get through. So there's going to be a lot of resistance in this area. So uh, hope you all find this uh, uh, analysis uh, uh, helpful and um, good training. Thank you very much.